What's up guys, so just made it to uh, Texas. I'm in San Antonio right now, and I'm gonna go ahead and uh, check out the Alamo. Uh, did some research on it, and uh, I remember I was here years ago and had a great time, so it's gonna be pretty cool and bring these guys along. Uh, a little FYI, uh, if you're gonna go ahead and uh, stay the day, which I recommend, I mean there's a ton, ton of stuff to do all around here. Um, instead of parking it right at the Alamo, it's like 20 bucks or something. If you go just like a block or two down the street, it's like five, and you can stay the whole day. So, um, yeah, so here we go. Hope you guys enjoy.
discuss the primary weapon that was used in this battle, and that is the smoothbore musket. Uh, Mr. Hicks is holding a British-made brown vest. Uh, that is the musket that the entire Mexican army is using in this battle, and half the men in the Alamo would have had that musket as well. But you got Springfield muskets, American-made, and also American-made Harper's Ferry muskets here as well. Uh, muskets are not rifled, they're smooth bore, so the barrels on these is just a pipe. So when the ball is fired, it bounces down the barrel. Now these guns are sighted for 100. We're going to start out with the men at shoulder arms. We're going to tell them to prepare to load in 12 times. Load. Open. Pan. Handle. Cartridge. Now the cartridge that the men have is a paper tube. It has the ball on the bottom. The pre-measured gunpowder sits on top. We carry 25 in the cartridge box. Now these are crimped over. And the only way we can open these things is to tear cartridge. He's going to bite off the end of it, spit it out. Prime. He's going to pour powder in the pan. Shut pan. Cast about. Charge cartridge. He's going to pour the remaining gunpowder down the barrel. With the ball still in the paper, they're going to wad it up and stuff it in there. Now we've got to drive that paper and ball down on top of the powder. Draw ram. Ram cartridge. Going to pack it tight. Return ram. Shoulder arms. They come up to the left shoulder. That lets the officer know that they're loaded and ready to fire. On the battlefield, we're doing this in the quickest time. He should do that in 20 seconds. Now the officer is watching the men, and there would be a line of them, be 25 of them, standing shoulder to shoulder. You would have another rank behind them of 25. That would be a company. He's watching the men, waiting to see all of them come to that shoulder, lets them know they're all loaded and ready to go. We want them firing together at once in a volley. And we have to fight that way with these firearms because they're so inaccurate. So what we're doing is we're putting a sheet of lead down at the enemy. We're going to hit more of them doing that. Of course, they're doing it to us as well. So this is about speed of loading. So we see that they would be loaded. We know the rest of the hands are ready. Aim and fire. Boom. And shoulder, arms. So we go back to the shoulder and we do it all over. Ready. Aim. Fire.
All right, guys. Well, that was uh, the Alamo and uh, the River Walk and a few other little things that I checked out for you guys. Um, I had a good time. It was really nice. Wish I could stay a little longer. Uh, definitely recommend it. And um, and yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. I uh, catch you next time. Peace.